Good morning everybody, welcome back. My name is Lynn and I'm Pretty Paper Craft 67. Today I just want to continue working on this journal um, and I just want to do some page decoration basically. I've gone ahead and just made some little page embellishments that I might use throughout the journal today. Um, and yes, yeah, so I haven't sewn it into the cover yet. I finished the decoration on the cover. Um, so it is done and so today I'm just going to go through and randomly pick some pages I did one earlier today just a little bit of stamping and a page embellishment on on the top of it and it just adds a little something to your page um, I'm going to use this stencil this is my favorite stencil I use it for uh, inking as well as um, texture paste and I just really like the pattern of it so I'm going to repeat this pattern throughout the uh, the book today so I'm just going to basically lay it down on some of the pages um, and just stencil lightly I'm not going to do it real heavy um, and just give give these blank pages a little bit of life so that's my intention for today how is everyone I hope everyone is well it's a beautiful day here today in Brisbane. We've got the sun shining. There's no wind around. Just love it. So, like I said, I'm just going to continue. I'm just going to repeat this same pattern um, throughout the book. I do have other stencils, but this is my go-to one every time. I just really like it. It's just pretty. And then, um, yeah, I've, just, I've done a little bit of embellishing throughout the journal. Not a lot yet. So, I like a little bit there. Actually, I might bring it in from the top on this one. Just a little bit like that. I just I did a little bit on that one before. some over this side oh welcome to all the new subscribers thank you so much for clicking that subscribe button I very much appreciate it I hope you can find some value here and I might put that one from that top corner coming down Kind of thing. Um, I don't. I, I do want to scatter it. I don't want to put it on every single page. And I'm just using um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink in vintage. Yeah, vintage photo. One like that. Our little lady, our birds. That's a vellum piece, so I won't do that. I'll put a little bit on the back of this one. Like that. Oh, that's my centre page. And then we start going. Did a little bit on that one and just did a little tuck spot, tuck pocket. Here. Put some up here. That kind of thing. I could, I, I don't know yet. I may go and, you know, cover over some of these yet if I find something of interest that I want to put down. But I just really like to do this step. Uh, that After I've done this, then the next thing I would do would be to... Uh, I'll put some fibres, some um, laces and trims and things like that uh, down the sides of the pages. And then I will sew it into the cover. But that's probably not something I'm going to do on camera. 
It's one of those hit and miss things for me, um, sewing in a signature. Sometimes it works really well and other times it does not. So I will save myself the embarrassment of doing it on camera. Yeah, we're nearly to the end. Do a little bit on this page. Bit more on this one. And we're nearly at the end. So I'll just do a little corner on here. Right, so that's the stenciling done. I'm quite happy with that. And now I just want to basically again go through each page and just pick pages just to put some embellishments. I've got a bit of doily and some lace on that one. Um, so let's say on this one here, I really like this little arrangement here. Now I might just take my cover away. I like to do these steps before I sew the signatures in because then that way I can actually pull the page out when I'm doing some stamping. Um, I need that so, oops, so I can stamp on. And I've just got a variety of stamps, just a few of the go-tos that I use regularly. Um, I've got this one here, Dark Room Door Number Melody. I use that one a lot. I think I might use this big one today. And when I stamp with, um, when I, the ink I use for stamps is Ranger Archival. I like that one. Now, I can never work out which is up and down on this one. That's up. That's up. I'm just going to put a bit of ink down. And then I'm just going to offset that on off the page a bit. Kind of there. Give it a bit of a press down. Like that type of thing. And then this one I will put over the top of it like that. So I'll grab some glue. Put just a fine bit of glue down that center. I don't mind if it's like that floating, floating look. That's lifting up off the page a bit. I'll just pop him down there. Like that one. So that's another page. Put that one back in there. Oh, keep going. I sort of just find a spot that looks that works <laughs> this one here is pretty that could be nice with that butterfly there um what do i want to use for a background on that one this one here it's a really nice stamp but it's not a deep stamp so it um when it stamps, it's really fine, faint. So I don't use it a lot. Let's move that up there. Bring this page out. I'll just pop that down there. So yeah, it's very, very faint. It's on there, but um, I've never had a lot of success with this stamp set. But in any case, it's it is a lovely set. So I'll just put that one down on there. That. Okay, put that one back inside the journal. 
And then I've just, um, I've done a couple of little pockets too that I want to try and pop in here somewhere. I might use this, this beautiful stamp um, came in the June mystery box. It's a botanical little spray of flowers. It's just lovely. So I'm going to just pop, well, not on that one. Where are we going to put you? Maybe there. So I'll just put that in there so I've got a nice hard surface. I hope I'm in camera still. And I'm just going to put that one there. Like that. I really love that stamp. So I might repeat it a couple of times as well. I might put another one in there. It's just such a nice stamp. And it stamps really well too. Oh, that one didn't stamp very well, but anyway. Okay, so that is that stamp done. Um, let's pick another page somewhere. Let's go to this one here. Now, what else have I got? I've got this Stampin' Up stamp set here, Basket of Wishes. It's quite sweet. It's it's a bit Thanksgiving-y theme, but I just really love the basket and the flowers that go in the basket. So I'll pop this one down. Bring that one back in. Put this one on the edge here. Like that. And then you get a choice in the stamp set. You've got sunflowers. Sunflowers, um, pumpkins, strawberries, or leaves. So I might go to sunflowers. I think that one will fit. And you just have to basically guess. <laughs> just lay it just sort of there. Like that. Isn't that sweet? I've got one of them. Gonna check my time. Oh yeah, we're good. Um, what else? What else? Oops. It certainly is a bit um, more messier when you're doing this without having the journal sewn in. But I don't like to sew the journal into the cover until I've put my uh, laces or, or material edges, fabric edges down the sides. So yeah, that's why I'm doing it this way. This is a very, very dirty stamp set, this one. I've had this one for years, but it's lovely. It's, again, a stamping out one. It's called Helping Me Grow, and I just love this big daisy. So, But it doesn't always stamp well. So we'll see. And I don't have a block quite big enough. Anyway, we'll give it our best shot. Table squeaking at me. Okay, I'll put this one back down underneath again. Fingers crossed. I might stamp it just off the page a bit, like that. Let's give it a really good hard push down. Oh, no, didn't stamp at all. Okay, well, that's okay because we can, we could put something over the top. That could be cute. And like the little daisies just poking up out of the, out of the top of it, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. That one's nice too. I like that one. I don't know. I'm disappointed with that. Never mind. On wood and upward. Um, um, um. Sometimes I have a real mind blank when I am crafting and I just can't, can't think. And this is one of those moments. I do love this little pocket that I've made and I love the darkness of this 
of this page. I think it matches that one well. So I might put that one down there. I've used, um, where is it? This little stamp here, Uniquely Creative. Um, that's the stamp set that goes with that there. And that's lovely. It's really nice. I've just bought that one. Um, so, yeah, this, this is the first time I've used it. So I'll just run a bit of glue along here. And then we'll pop, put that one down as a little pocket. And then that's still open at the top, so we'll slip a tag or something down into that one. And I've got one more little page embellishment. Go back to the beginning. I don't know. This is my process. Does anyone else have a different process? I just keep flipping from front to back, from back to front, until I find where I want to put it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's silly. I'm not sure. So this one's got, it's a bingo card, and it's got some purple roses. So I sort of want to find something. I wonder if I do put it there. And then purple and purple will kind of tie in together. It hides that little mishap with inking, but you can still see some little flowers. Let's do that. Let's put it down here. Come on, glue. Just put it along the page line. What I may even do, I've got a very fine line brown texture type pen. I might come in and do a little bit of filling in those lines. All right, what else? What else, what else? Um, I don't know. I can't think. Got that one there. Little page flip I want to do. Yeah, I think that might do us for today. All right. That's a little bit more done. So yeah, next I want to do my fabric edges and then I will sew it into the cover. Let's pop it into the cover. All right, there we go. I hope that that has been of interest. Um, it's just my process of what how I make a junk journal. So I've never done one on film before, so there you go. Thinking on the fly, I don't always do a good job at that. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me again today. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and if you live in Brisbane, enjoy this gorgeous weather. Um, be kind to one, one another, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.